and we're dressed exactly the same. That yes, we mean, are. Yeah, we're not wearing the same clothes. Yeah, anymore. you already mentioned that um, a couple of months ago. That's right. That's and right. We are filming the morning routines on the same day, so we're not done putting on the exact same clothes <laughs> all week. Because that would be uh, yeah. yeah. I like to change my clothes daily, sometimes multiple times daily, shower, all that kind of stuff. You know? So please don't say that we're weird. Yeah. Well, you can say that I'm weird. <laughs> but not because I don't change my clothes, <laughs> just because I'm weird. <laughs> anyway, it is Wednesday, it is Employment Wednesday, and on Employment Wednesday, it's also what? Just to impress. Heck yeah, it is. And you guys have been doing a good job. Even some that like couldn't make it, there's a few folks that couldn't make it on Wednesdays, so yeah. they would dress up on Thursdays. Yeah, personally, I'm, I'm not very good at um, dressing to um, impress, so please don't feel like um, you're um, being pressured. <laughs> Yeah, there's no there's no pressure. It's just something that we work on. So it's something that you're working on, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're all kind of working on it. Sometimes I mess it up too. But I'll tell you what, when I get dressed and I look good, I feel good, you know? So that's an important part of just getting up in the morning and starting that thing. And especially if you're working on independent employment, it's good to look good because you're, then you'll feel good when you go into like interviews and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you have a question? What do you mean by independent employment? Great question. What exactly does independent employment mean? Well, <clears throat> there's everybody that goes and gets a job, that's independent employment. If I go to work for McDonald's, it's independent employment. If, if you got a job here for VCDI, we wouldn't consider that independent employment yeah. because we helped you get a job within us. And that's okay, that's great for your resume, it's great foundational work, you learn some skills and stuff, but we consider independent employment to be employment that you go out and you work, you can work with Zach or anybody else on getting that employment and we can help you with it, but it's independent of our company. So that's really what we consider independent employment because if for some reason our company happened to go away, you still have your own independent employment. You're oh. independent on your own. You got it. You're good to go. Make sense? Um, yeah, I hope that made sense for everyone. If you have more questions about it, you can ask any of the staff. Zach is a great guy to coach up on some of this stuff. And on Wednesdays, we hear a lot from Zach, which is great. But we need to we need to email him more. What's his email address? I keep forgetting. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. I think a lot of you guys are forgetting, so maybe we need to come up with something to help you guys remember. It's zweiss at bcdi.org. Z W Y S E. At... I have an idea. Ooh, what's that? Um, maybe um, if you guys are watching the morning routine at home, um, maybe um, be um, screenshot his email. Ooh, that's. Brilliant. LaBelle is full of great ideas. She's helping us here with some of the things we do. I mean, even to the point that we're going to put a sign on the door that says filming in progress. Yes, exactly. We, <laughs> we couldn't think of that on our own. We needed LaBelle to help yeah. us with that. So. And hopefully um, we won't see, a, see um, a photo of Zach sleeping on his desk <laughs> because that was funny. <laughs> well, I mean, you might see a photo of Zach sleeping on his desk. <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> speaking of Zach and speaking of employment and independent employment, you're going to be blown away by this. Do you know how many people, how many clients are currently working in independent employment right now? No. 13. What? Yeah, 13 of our folks are working in independent employment right now. And in the last two weeks, we've had eight interviews. Well, eight, eight interviews? Eight people have gone on interviews. How many of those eight do you think got the job and are working right now? Four. Four. Half, Four? Of them, half of them got the job. Now, the other half are still going through that interview process and could be hired any day now. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So we could go from 13 to 16 to 18 in no time at all. Isn't that crazy? Sure is. Absolutely is. So that's you guys out there. Some of you guys, that you guys have seen it. Some of you guys out there have got these jobs, are the employed folks that with that independent employment and it feels good, right? So if you're interested, what do you got to do? 
If you're, if you're looking for independent employment, what are you gonna do? Email Zach. Darn straight. At what's his address? What's his email address? Oh my god! <laughs> she hadn't screenshot it yet, so it's zweiss at vcdi.org. Okay. I gotta remember his email address so I know to say in future morning routines. There you go. We'll get this. All right. So what are what are we gonna do next? We talked about employment. What's next? Next, we are going to see our friends Gabrielle and Zach now. So enjoy. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. We're halfway through the week and we just started the week yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's pretty awesome actually. I like that stuff. It's really good to see you guys. Uh, good to be back like I said yesterday. We're going to get right to it today, man. We're going to get right to it. We're going to go back, back to the bearded past. past. With Zach. With Zach. So in 1836, the Texas Revolution. Those of you who might not know a whole lot about this, the Texas Revolution was uh, basically Texas, the settlers of Texas, revolting against the, the Mexican government to form their own state. They just didn't think Mexico City was close enough to control, basically. Kind of ungrateful uh, settlers, to be honest with you. But with that being said, that being said, the Siege of the Alamo. So a lot of us hear about the Alamo, the battle, right? Everybody in the, the little mission, they all die, this, that. A lot of us have seen the John Wayne movie. They also did that newer movie with, uh, I think, uh, Billy Bob Thornton was in that one and some other guys. And uh, they did these two movies and they're very epic about how everybody dies. But before that battle started, uh, the actual battle, the actual hand-to-hand -hand fighting, the, the Mexicans surrounded that fort and they sieged. And for those of you who don't know what a siege is, it's basically cutting off any way out in takes away food, it's just a lot of cannonballs, a lot of shelling, and uh, it basically they use it to get folks to surrender. Well, the folks at the Alamos we know did not surrender, and so after the siege was done, the Mexican uh, troops led by Santa Ana, they actually had to charge and fight the Alamo. There you guys go, a little history of Texas Revolution. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye now. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Yes, we have to bring it back. It's Hump Day! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's day number two of me doing this. Let's see if I can put myself on a roll. It is Wednesday, February the 23rd. God, the day sounds really familiar for some reason. I think it's an old friend's birthday. I remember weird things like that, you know, sorry. Oh yes, it was my friend Cindy's birthday. Oh, that was from elementary school. I am weird, what can I say, guys? I remember dates. It's a good thing. and. It's not a good thing when you remember something somebody else can't, but there I go with a squirrel moment again. But today's national day? National dog biscuit day. A good dog biscuit. Not that I would know what a good dog, yeah, I would know what a dog, good dog biscuit is. It's kind of make for my poochie. I want to make sure there's no goobery things in it. So we make the dog biscuits. They rather like them. I think the one dog likes them too much because she went to the vet the other day and they said, eh, she's six pounds overweight. And I'm thinking, six pounds isn't that much, I guess. But when you're a dog, it is. So she's getting two less doggy treats. She's only going to get one broken up into two pieces now. I feel like a terrible person, but, you know, she's got to lose some weight, I guess. It's, what, it's a winter coat everybody grows, right? Well, okay, we'll let her lose the six pounds and then maybe she'll, you know, get skinnier this summer and she can have more doggy biscuits because she really likes the doggy biscuits. I think I know why. I make them with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes, no, not everybody likes peanut butter, but I'm just squirreling today, aren't I? So if you have a dog, 
and they like a dog biscuit. Give them maybe an extra one today if they're allowed because it is National Dog Biscuit Day. Always good. Love having the bearded pass back and the national day. Good stuff, right? Yep. It's so good um, to have our friends back. And you guys, there's a few of you that are working on doing some additional filming that might end up in the morning routine. Is that right? Um, yeah. You're working with Ray? Yes. And that stuff? Any ideas of what we might see here in the future? Um. No, I have no idea. <laughs> we just got that started, but we yes. did see Alex's commercial for the Daytona 500. That was pretty cool. Yeah, Alex yeah. did a great job. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what's our schedule for the rest of the day? We got Zooms, but what else do we got? We got 1 o'clock Facebook Live with Zach. Ooh, what's his email address again? Z. <laughs> She needs a screenshot. We'll get it. I forget Zach's address very easily. That's because you don't say it all the time like I do to you guys. ZYS at BCDI.org. All right, that is it for today. What else? That's it, huh? Yep, that's all the morning routine we have for today. And until next time. Take care, everybody.